Good evening, one and all. Uh, so, I'm Ananya PM from College of Engineering, Trikaripur. Uh, first of all, uh, let me thank IEEE PS Kerala chapter for giving us such a wonderful opportunity wherein we could express our knowledge and uh, our talents and indeed develop ourselves. Thank you so much. Let me start my presentation. Today, I'm going to uh, share with you my insights on the topic emergence of digital twin technology. I hope my PPT is visible to you all. Just a second. Okay, so uh, what is this digital twin technology? Maybe some of you have heard about it already. Some of you might be new to the term itself. So as we know, we are currently moving through a digital revolution, uh, moving in via industry 4.0. So we know that everything around us is changing into smart technology, right? So uh, being a part of that, digital twin is one of the major component of industry 4.0 and the developing world. Now, what is this digital twin? It can be defined uh, as a digital replica of a living or a non-living physical entity. Yeah, non-living physical entity. Of course, it also includes uh, living as well as non-living physical entity. So we can say that a digital twin is a copy or a duplicate uh, figure of anything that is existing around us. It could be even humans anything like a computer, uh, machinery, or whatever it is. That will aid us in prototyping, testing, and simulation of uh, that particular product. So it helps us in a great manner, specifically in industry world, in such a way that it could enable us to, uh, like, what? Uh, check if the product is properly working or not, and all. Uh, so it's just a digital copy of something that's existing, right? So instead of working upon or doing things on the original model, we could do it on our digital copy so that it will not hinder the working of the uh, original one and aid us in testing uh, and uh, simulating things on the our digital copy. So a digital replica is of a potential and actual physical asset, process, people, places, system and device as I've said, it could be of anything which could be used for various purposes. Thus, we can say that a digital twin indeed is a computerized mirror of a physical asset or a process. So, how does this digital twin come into existence? So, this idea eventually at first arose in the mind of NASA while uh, working for the Apollo 12 mission when they faced an issue regarding the mission. So, they were not able to detect the failure of the components uh, during the mission. So, mission. So, they wanted to eradicate that particular problem in the in their next mission so they started to think about that so they came to a conclusion that they want to have some technology that would help uh, help them to understand what's happening to their machines and parts uh, which is uh, uh, outside the orbit of earth or which is uh, long from their vicinity so they wanted to understand what is happening to the machinery or uh, how could the error be rectified something like that so they we're thinking about that and they come up, came up with this concept of digital twin wherein they'll be able to prototype their uh, uh, all those machineries even before uh, bringing it into actual, actual working and as well they could monitor the working of the uh, components which are far from their uh, central space or something like that so this digital twin was a uh, concept was uh, put forward by nasa uh, but it was further defined by Dr. Michael Grievous at University of Michigan uh, during the period of 2002 to 2003 in a virtually perfect driving innovative and lean product through product lifecycle management. And he termed it as then mirrored space models. So initially, uh, Dr. Michael Grievous called it doppelganger. So the term doppelganger means something, uh, a real copy of 
a human being or a living thing which attack on its uh, living part itself so it's uh, something like a weird concept so he compared this digital twin with doppelganger and called it as a doppelganger and further uh, the term digital twin was coined now industry 4.0 is uh, moving into such a scenario that it will be only possible with digital twin so grievous as a pioneer of the product life cycle management and he states that digital twin will be a major component of this product life cycle management it will uh, help a lot in product life cycle management and hence we could say he invented the digital twin now why does digital twin matter in the current scenario why should we adopt a digital twin what is the use of that so digital twins are actually powerful masterminds that will drive innovation and performance in it because as we know we are moving through a current rapid revolution of uh, in industries so they are growing at a very fast rate so in order to aid the industries to have a productive outcome we could say digital twin will help them in a great manner uh, as it is being supported by industrial internet of things where uh, enabling the physical objects to live and interact with other machines and people virtually we could say it is it will help the companies in a great manner the digital twin could be said to be as a major component of the cyber physical system which indeed is connected with uh having machineries controlled by computers so we know how much uh important it is or how much useful it is to have a 3d model of anything that is around us we are now currently uh being used to vr ar models and 3d simulations so we know how better uh feel it brings to us so bringing out the same concept into the machineries concept and all will indeed help us to understand the Uh, troubles associated with the physical objects as well have testing upon that so indeed using of a 3d model to create digital components for the physical objects could be viewed could be used to understand the current status of the physical object and provide us a way to project the physical objects into the digital world so as i said it helps the uh, industry in a great manner we could say that companies could have a greater development using a digital twin Uh, another way is that uh, if companies are collecting customer experiences and if customers want some uh, improvements in the product from understanding their feedback companies could uh, try out these experimental changes upon their digital model and if it becomes success then we could say they could adopt this into their product operation and services uh, to bring about innovation into their businesses so in general we could state that a digital twin will develop a product virtually test it virtually create it virtually and support it virtually which is indeed great now what are the benefits of digital twin so we could say these are the major benefits of digital twin first and foremost it will improve the quality and yield of the product that we are producing because we do not have to get worried with the quality of the thing thinking about how it will be and all so if we have a prototype if we are working on that prototype bringing out innovations into it trying testing and going on then we could improve the quality uh, eventually and yield also it increases the efficiency of engineers in a great manner as we could have uh, we could get whatever innovations we want into the product and we need not have to worry about uh, losing of what Uh, resources and all because you are working on digital twin you are not utilizing the original or living or uh, what live things no you are working on uh, this digital copy so there is no harm done to any resources no resource uh, utilizations uh, is done in a much manner so once you are satisfied with your digital twin model only you will you will be implementing that so it indeed increases efficiency of engineers and thus reduces the cycle time and boosts productivity it will help us to diagnose and fix failures as it is connected it will be connected to the uh, the digital twin will be connected to the real entity so you could understand what is happening to the real entity using digital twin helping in diagnosis and fixing failures it will optimize robot operation management and reduce the operation cost and overall now how is this digital twin created then how can we implement that so basically the digital twin will be driven by sensors that is uh, it will be having or taking information collected from the sensors attached to the physical model and uh, we can see iot is the foundation for this digital twins apart from that it will be driven by artificial intelligence machine learning data and analytics also 
basically we have got three main requisites for digital twin one is physical product and the real real space secondly it's virtual uh, copy or a virtual product in virtual space and a connection of data and information which will help us in tying up this digital twin and the uh, original or the entity original entity uh, so this tying up is done via the sensors actually so sensors as i have said it will be attached to the original one uh, which will give us the information appropriately collected from the working of the machinery or the product or service and uh, it will be appropriately or timingly given into the virtual model and virtual model will analyze those data and provide us with the information replicating the working of this uh, real model so the digital asset may not be always built after having a virtual product as i've said we could have them before even creating like uh, for prototyping purposes or not so we need not always have them physically uh, built after the physical model is being built so in the pre process engineers or designers or whoever it is uh, who is working for the uh, simulation or creation of this digital model will collect and synthesize data that is it's not this mere designing of a product instead they collect the various physical mathematical data related to the product or service uh, and manufacturing data operation data as well as the analytical data they combine them process them properly and uh, from the atomic level itself they'll be studying about the uh, the entity and then only they'll be designing this virtual model okay so it's a complicated process it involves a lot of engineers and a lot of people from various disciplines so yeah after once the model is ready i'll be integrating it with ai algorithms uh, so that it will be able to process the data obtained from the physical model so applying the analytics uh, into the model we will get the proper insight into the under into understanding the condition of the physical asset now the connection as i have said it's established using sensors and the twin will receive the input from the sensor gathering data from the real world counterpart it will allow it to simulate the exact condition of the physical object in the real time and give us the potential information about its potential problems and performance now this is just a model of a digital twin um, of a rotor system so as you can see we have a physical system which is having sensing measurements associated with it so the data collected from the sensors attached is given to a data acquisition system you don't need to be worried about this internal working part and all it's just uh, what happens or how does it process the data uh, acquired so it will be passed into this digital twin which will be having a geometry dynamics and material so generally this will be processing the information that it received and uh, it will be uh, what um, learning that using the algorithms and simulating the original physical system so we'll be understanding what is happening to our system so once if we find any problem regarding that we could have a calculated response on how it should function or how it should have been functioning so we could come into a conclusion and make the changes accordingly to the physical system this is another example of digital twin being implemented in a real floating turbine having iot sensors attached to it which will provide the information regarding this turbine to our digital twin now let's see uh, i would like to show you in implementation of digital twin in one of the domain of its application that is healthcare let's see the video imagine a future where personalized healthcare will provide every individual the right type of care in the right way and at the right time Imagine that every patient has a digital twin, a virtual representation of his health status. Let's explore how this could play a significant role when Mr. Clark, who has been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, is seeing Dr. Sullivan, his cardiologist. Although AF is a highly prevalent disease, it can be complicated to decide on the individual treatment strategy for a patient like Mr. Clark. This is where his digital twin comes in. It starts by using Mr. Clark's medical data to create a patient-specific biophysical model, including a virtual version of his heart, which looks, behaves, and reacts just like the real one. Through a seamless flow of data and advanced analytics capabilities, enabled by Philips Health Suite, Dr. Sullivan can connect Mr. Clark's digital twin with intelligence on similar cases 
and select ablation as the therapy with the best possible predicted outcome for him, both on the short and on the long term. Dr. Sullivan carefully plans the procedure by simulating various ablation scenarios on Mr. Clark's digital twin. This enables her to select the one with the optimal computed result. The chosen ideal scenario forms the basis for real-time intervention guidance. During the procedure, all taken actions, as well as any unforeseen situations, are processed real-time into Mr. Clark's digital twin to redirect if necessary. As a result, Mr. Clark received his treatment at the right time, in the right way, with the best possible outcome. This is one of many potential cases in which the digital twin adds value to the healthcare system. From personalized diagnosis and therapy selection to procedure planning and guidance tailored to the patient's physical characteristics, medical history, current condition and future needs. Innovation and you, Philips. Okay, so that was an application put forward by Philips into uh, using digital technology into the medical field we have seen. So you could see the, how uh, innovative it is. Like if we have, we humans have a digital twin of ourselves uh, and uh, if we could experiment upon the digital twin in case of having, if some person is having some di disease diagnosed or something like that and they have to undergo some surgery or something like that. So before actually if it is a critical condition so before actually performing into the hu actual human if we could have a trial upon our digital twin copy we could may uh, we may have a higher rate of success if having this digital twin technology being implemented so moving on to the other applications of digital twin technology we could say that it's being applied in various fields like manufacturing automobile aerospace healthcare and wind farm wearing a digital copy of these uh, products that is being involved could uh, create a great change in the working conditions of industries. Now, this is just a, a digital twin, sorry, a digital twin application analysis of the various uh, domains wherein digital twin is currently being applied. So we can see here manufacturing industry is dominating among them in a greater rate. Uh, so this is just a graph uh, showing so we could understand that digital twin is being uh, accepted and is being used in a greater manner now how much that is the economic value of digital twin is will company benefit from having a digital twin into them of course because economic value of digital twin will depend upon the company indeed if a company is having complex expensive industrial business equipment service or process having a digital twin will be highly valuable to them why because uh, since the company is having such uh, what critical components into it, uh, trying it out with its only physical model is really uh, something like um, not a good way. So if you're having a digital twin, you could increase its utilization because you can uh, have all your testing upon that and bring up a quality product from that company, right? So improving the utilization, so thus having a digital twin will indeed improve the utilization of by reducing the asset downtime and will decrement the maintenance cost because you need not have to worry about it because we have already tried a lot of methods and built out a quality product as well. And if you are wanting to have any improvements or updation, you could try it out on the digital twin and then implement it on the real part. So it's, yeah, so overall maintenance cost will be reduced and thus makes internal software competencies critical to the driving value. So uh, another thing is that cost of the developing and maintaining digital twin are often a little bit higher as uh, compared because sometimes it may go higher based upon the what complexity of the product also. So it depends upon the business and economic models. There is a great role in economic architecture of a company, thus it will aid in all these revenue, profit, cost optimization, and thus will indeed help the company to make a progress as the product and services are rolling out. So these are the top companies that are using Digital Twin currently. You can see General Electric, Siemens are topping in that. So others are also upcoming into or coming into this Digital Twin platforms. So you could see how much DT is currently growing. 
what is the future of digital twin so thinking about the future of digital twin according to gartner one of the famous it service companies they say that 13 percent of the enterprises are currently under dt so their projects are currently being implemented using digital twins whereas 62 percent of others are in the process to employ dt or planning to do so so you could see all the industrial uh, manufacturing units are currently transforming into utilizing digital twin technologies capabilities and as we know we are currently passing through industry 4.0 revolution uh, everything is changed to smart and iot is being uh, the major co component of that so iot is indeed expanding right so digital twin also will expand along iot so according to predictions by 2022, 85 percentage of all the platforms that's having IoT attached to it will have its digital twin along with that. And since we are currently shifting into all smart homes and all those things, we have our homes and workplaces uh, controlled by smart products. So they also will be having a digital twin of themselves, allowing us to increase the availability of those products. So in conclusion, we could say that digital twins are uh, or become, will become one of the major component of this industrial world, aiding us in having a proper, well-created uh, quality products, having quality products that will aid us in a great manner. So it will reshape the foundations of engineering by combining the data from human experts with machine intelligence in order to drive the evolution of work in a new and unexplored ways. So that's it about this uh, presentation. So I hope you guys have got an insight into the emergence of digital twin technology. And it is an emerging upcoming technology wherein everyone could have their own uh, research upon that and bring about changes into it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I took the BSKLA chapter for giving this, giving me this opportunity. Thank you.